all things LGBTQ plus youth edition. <laughs> Today is April 1st. My name is Jules Caserta and I use they them pronouns. To my left is <laughs> Jay Simpson and I also use they them pronouns. Uh, Piper, he, they, I, Is yeah. that my left? <laughs> That's your right. <laughs> okay, today we are talking about hate inside the LGBTQ plus community, which is a very fun topic. Very fun. Very fun. We love it. We love hate in our community. Favorite thing. sarcasm. Is Ob- sarcasm is obvious. Remember, humor is important, children. Humor is a coping mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> but let's get into it. So to start, community is hard to define. We might consider things that are part of the LGBTQ community that you might not. So if that comes up, we'll talk about it. If we, if I say, oh, pansexual, part of the LGBTQ community, and Piper's like, no, we'll go into that. If that doesn't happen, we probably won't. Sorry. But let's start with the one that I hear most com- commonly, most frequently, that's a better word for that, most frequently, which is by erasure, the act of erasing the bisexuals. Yes, it's also, it's a very common thing where take a female person who is bisexual, if they were to be with a man, people would be like, oh, you're just straight. Yeah. And if they're with a woman, they'll be like, oh, you're you're just gay. And if they're not with anyone, people will often just be like, you're oh, confused. you're confused. You're confused. You'll, f- you'll figure it out. You'll fig- it's a phase. Also, it's all a phase. There's the whole thing about how it's you. It's like you're attracted to men and women, but bi means two. It doesn't just. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't have, have to be yeah. just men and women. It yeah. could be like women and non-binary. Yeah. Like men and non-binary. Another I, non-binary when we're example. There, yeah. So it's yeah. People are often also. Yeah. And then there's also the. It, they'll confuse it with either just like straight or gay. They're like it's one of the two, and then you find pansexual being confused with bisexual. So people are like bisexuality isn't a thing, but pansexuality is the same thing as bisexuality. Yeah, people. And it's like, what the hell are you talking about? Because I'm pan romantic. Same. So. <laughs> <laughs> same. Um, a lot of people are just like, oh, why didn't you just say you're bi? Like I did for a while. Fun <laughs> fact: I said I was bi. I hated it. And I was like, oh, no, I'm not. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> I do like the colors more than the The colors the pan- are much nicer than the pansexual side. Do you know what they represent? Mm, female, or, or is it male on top? I said, I is it blue on top? I think it's blue yeah, on top. Yeah, it's blue. Blue for boys. boys. Pink for female, female, which is not good. And but then purple's, it's just it's like yellow. In, it's, it's, the bisexual flag is oh, not yellow. I thought you were talking about the pansexual flag. <laughs> There's no purple in the pansexual flag. The pink. Honey, okay, look, we'll have to move on, <laughs> because that was it. okay. That was that a was great it. tangent, but we'll move um, on. So pansexuality is also confused with bisexuality, but people are saying bisexuality isn't a thing. So as a pan-romantic, yeah. what have you experienced? How is it, what is, how oh, is it like, what is it like? People just straight up be like, oh, you're just bisexual, or I, a lot of times with me personally, I, I don't think it's every pansexual person, a lot of people just go, oh, you're just a lesbian because I tend to date more females than I do male. Because females are amazing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. no, good point, good point. But I mean, like, I'm, what I was gonna say is that um, people also forget like preference is also a, thi- like, yeah. is a thing. You can be bisexual, have a preference towards women, but still be bisexual. Yeah, right. yeah. Like I'm, then, I, I am pan-romantic with a preference towards feminine people. So mm-hmm. it n- doesn't matter what your gender is, it's just, Femininity. Yeah, and people, you also see people confusing just pansexual as a whole because they think, oh, there's only two genders. Pan means all. You just meant that you must, you must be bi, right? Because right? Yeah. if there's only, if all is only two, then they're the same thing. Which, yes, if that was the case and all was only two, you would be correct. But it's not. You wrong. You wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, and then you also see like um, TV characters in representation who are mm-hmm. bisexual, mm-hmm. being called gay, lesbian. It's just people just like completely stop using the term, and they're like, "Oh, this guy is in a relationship with a guy." The actual character is bisexual, but in all fandom spaces, he's gay. Mm-hmm. I mean, I tend to use gay as an umbrella term mm-hmm. 
but I know people who are bisexual. I've had a couple bisexual friends where I'd be like, oh, yeah, we're all gay here. And I had a bisexual friend pretty much snap at me and like, no, I'm bi. I'm like, yeah, that's definitely cool. fair. And it's also, I think it's getting more and more common that gay is an umbrella term. Yeah. Just like queer. Some people hate the word queer. Some people hate the word gay. It's mm -hmm. really, words are so difficult, mm -hmm. especially in this community. Like, it's very yes. hard to be completely politically correct. Yes, you don't know. It's impossible. You don't know. You know what, what you say is gonna how, how what you say is had and how it's gonna hurt someone. Yeah, because some never people know. can be affected by words differently than mm -hmm. others. Yeah, I mean, and then there's also pan romantic, which any yeah. romantic orientation is just disregarded. Yeah, I mean, it's like just not a thing. It's yeah. like, oh, it's a sexual orientation. Yeah, people like, no, like most of the time I say that I'm just pansexual because mm. most of the time I just say pan. Yeah, I say pan. Like, half I'm the just time. pan. You can put whatever ending you want on it. I'm just pan. As long as you get. The, as long um, as you get the all part. I mean, yeah, with pansexual, fine. there is the obvious joke like, oh, are you You're attracted, attracted to, to pan? Yes. Oh. Kitchen utensils. I came out of the cupboard, the closet. Yes. I make that Which, joke. All I, the time. I do too. So it's, it's a good fine. joke. You guys are hilarious. Thank you. We made a funny. Stop doing that. Um, but yeah, there's an obvious joke about like being attracted to pants, and it's just like it's so frustrating. Just like and, and any, if you're not like my friend and you make a joke about me be, wanting to screw pants, I will actually slap you. It's like with stuff. a pan. With a pan. <laughs> with a cast with a iron iron pan. pan. <laughs> let's not talk about assault. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Um, but with the romantic orientations that I was, we went on a little bit of a tangent. But with like pan romantic, yeah. any romantic orientation is disregarded, which leads into then ace eraser. Yeah. Which, <sighs> oh boy, I can go on a ramp. I, and I will, that's what this show is for. <laughs> Asexual people are people who can feel little to no sexual attraction. And because of this, people have decided that asexual isn't a part of the LGBTQ plus community. So it did come up in the show. Would you look at that? Well, it's not just that. I've heard a lot of arguments where there'll be straight and cis, cis heads. people. Oh, cis heads. Cis heads. And they're, but they're asexual. Yes. So people are like, oh, they're not part of the community. But in my opinion, they are. They are, yeah, in because my opinion as well. Because the LGBTQ plus community, in my opinion, is for anyone who is not the norm. And the norm is? Cis hat. And you have a, and you're not, and you're not ace or arrow. Yeah. The, okay. Uh, this is, this, We're gonna, this is, we have a rebuttal? Yes. It's, Ooh, it's, but, but it's like, I also understand what you're saying. I believe it depends because there are many cases of cishet aces or arrows who are, you know, they are generally accepted into the community and they, or at least they should be, except there are many cases where they are like screaming about how queer they are. And that's not, I don't believe it's, many yeah. people disagree that they should be reclaiming that word. I, the word queer is a word for anyone in the community, in my opinion. Because at its core, queer just means odd. And I'm odd, we're all a little odd. But I mean, it's just a, I think it's a word for anyone who isn't considered the norm. Because anyone who isn't considered the norm is then considered odd. Yes. And although we have a really <laughs> deep history that we can get into, and we won't, because it'll take, we'll be here for hours. Yes. It's a tricky word, mm -hmm. and asexual people and aromantic people are a LGBTQIA. The A is not for ally, folks. T. The A <laughs> is for aromantic and asexual. And facts. That that is the those are the facts. Those are the facts. Those are the facts. So you, you just it just I hate it. Cause and like I, there's a lot of controversy. That didn't say that right. There's <laughs> it's a controversial topic. Mm -hmm, it is in the community itself, but, and it's like yeah. But also, in my opinion, again. Anyone who's grown up asexual or romantic, even if you're cishet, even if you're not, you are growing up and you are feeling broken. Mm -hmm. And you are feeling like you are not normal. You have to struggle with that your whole life. And I think that everyone in the LGBT community can relate to that. I think that's why we banded together because we can all relate to the feeling of growing up broken. 
I think that's why we form this community. So if someone grows up feeling like that, shouldn't they be accepted in? And people will, t people will rebut that with, oh, Tumblr aces and tumb Tumblr arrows. Oh, they're horrible. They're just trying to like force their way into this community. And no, we're not trying to force our way into this community. First of all, don't use Tumblr as an example. Everyone on Tumblr's horrible. Facts, don't you, deny it. I'm on Tumblr, Yeah, I'm I was about to say you're on Tumblr. Yeah, and it's awful. <laughs> it's not a good place. It's not a good place. But people will use that, and it's like, no, that's not part, that's not, who? Okay, those people Tumblr are aggressive. Aggressive. Those people are awful. But, okay, but not all aces and arrows exactly. are those people. That doesn't mean the... that they should be erased completely from our community. Right. Because our community should be for everyone. Yes, exactly. But here's the thing. Tumblr should not be where people get their facts about the community. Yeah. Yeah, it's just not, don't like, go on. No. Tumblr may, like, I personally found help through Tumblr, but it shouldn't be where everyone is like, oh, because these people on this website said it, that's the truth. I, that, I recently read a post that was, um, uh, dear ace people, please stop forcing your sexuality on children. And I was like, honey, we have no sexuality to force. That's literally the whole point. Like, what do you mean forcing your sexuality on children? What? Straight people do that when they make their sons wear like the chicks are all over me shirt. Or like the fact that or, oh, they're friends, they must be getting married. My, my, these two little, it's just like stuff. Like, uh, like it's from so birth, weird. most people are like, oh, you're Chick born magnet. a female, and you will grow up to be with males. Like, and that's outside of the community too. That's yeah, just straight people just being straight people. No offense, straight people. I love so many straight people, and I hate so many straight people, and I love so many gay people, and I hate so many gay people. That's just how it works. That's how the world works. Some people some, you love, some, and some you like hate. Like the asexual so, community. Yeah, some yeah. people. Some people <laughs> are amazing. Some people, not as much. Right. But that doesn't mean we should outcast that whole right. damn community. And I think, and I, I know I just said this, but like, just because this section that may be a very loud and obnoxious section of those people, that does not represent, they should not, the rest of those people who identify with that should not be pinned down as like bad or stealing, like stealing, stealing their way the into the, yeah, ooh, cause like they're the, valid. The, the like, like, you know, eight, and there's another it's thing. not. There's a time, I'm interrupting you, I'm so sorry. It's okay. But it's another, and the same post, it was like, you don't know what it's true oppression feels like. And I read that and I was like, corrective rape. I was, my voice is like, <laughs> but I was, that was like, I was just so, it was so bizarre to me that people can like think this. Like I'm ace, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm like crazy and I'm, I'm, I mean, I am crazy and I'm noxious, but not because I'm ace, right? Right. Just like, why? And corrective. Why is there so much hate in the community that we don't need? People hate suck. things they don't understand. Isn't this like why the community, like... That's why <laughs> the LGBT community exists. <laughs> because exactly. people, people hated hate them and they formed a community and now they, they hate other people. And now people in the community hate, hate each other because people. they don't well, understand. Well, yes, there are some like weird lines that are, there is a line that is being crossed by weird things that we won't get into right now. We'll do that at the end. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But we'll like, sidebar that for a little while. We'll come back to that later. Yeah, and Jay's like Ugh. so like, and this is not a good topic, but like corrective rape, that aces literally like every orientation that isn't straight that exists for people, and it sucks and it's horrible, and um, that can be inside or outside the community. Right. Another thing that I've heard is like a lot of people think that ace people like the reason people are ace automatically are from like sexual trauma from childhood and i know plenty of ace people who had no trauma from childhood <laughs> i had a wonderful childhood i just don't want anything in my genitals thank you okay moving on <laughs> if we have anything else to say this one you can talk about and i'm very I mean, interested to i hear. have a, like another thing is okay the ace spectrum, like people just forget that there is a spectrum. Yeah, it's not just asexual, like you're demi, right? Yeah, I fall in the spectrum, but most many, people same. just- and Many people will have conflicts over what on that spectrum is valid, mm -hmm. and it's insane. 
And I mean, there's also like there's people. Fight, there's asexuals fighting asexuals because this a, this one asexual is about, considers himself gray sexual. Right. And then like and this other asexual is like that's not a thing. Yeah. And like like people think that asexual just means constant hate, sex never, repulsion. Yes, yeah, constant. There are plenty of asexuals that aren't sex repulsed. Re repulsed. They just don't frequently have sexual attack uh, attraction. In my case, I'm demi, but I take that as I need a lot of time with that person. Explain what demi means, please. Demi is, well, I was basically explaining it. Well, <laughs> do it better. <laughs> Damn. Okay. You're doing great. Demisexual <laughs> is where you take a very long time with and getting knowing a person before you have sexual relations. Yeah. And in my case, I'll make out with you all day long. We know. But <laughs> there are other demis that don't. And yeah. and then there you see demis and demis fighting about being demi. They're and I'm all like, why? Individual experience. I've had people tell me that I'm not demi because I'm too sexual. What does that mean? What does that mean? People, things that, the things that come out of certain people's mouths just boggle my mind sometimes. Like, especially because I teach sex ed, which I don't get but how. But sex ed doesn't mean inherently... you, I'm sorry. You're teaching important education to people. You that can, means you're too sexual. <laughs> you're too sexual. You can't be demi. <laughs> um, so, asexual right there. Pretty sucky. I have one that I'm very interested to hear you talk about. Yes. Paul, me, have, what, if, hate. Have you experienced from the LGBTQ? It's a very long acronym. LGBTQ plus community being poly. I've had people tell poly, me that poly, poly isn't in the community, but, um, okay. because a lot of the time it could just be like a guy getting off with two girls. So a threesome. Yeah, like people just think, oh, it's just a threesome. Isn't You're that the other misconception with bisexuality as well. It just you all want threesomes. Yeah. yeah. It's like no. You can be you can be bi there's and you can be of, ace. There's plenty of bi people who don't want multiple people in bed. There are plenty of people who don't want multiple people in bed, period. <laughs> multiple okay. people in bed sounds exhausting. And that's coming from a polyamorous person. Yeah, but let's continue what um you heard it wasn't part of the community for people. Yes, I've heard it's not part of the community that it's just you not being faithful to your partner. Um, okay. <laughs> that you just want to cheat. That you just want an open relationship. Um, Is polyamory not an open relationship? It, it's different for each individual. Okay. Most, like, polyamorous couples could be three people dating each other. Polyamory could be one person dating two people. It could be one person dating three other people one's dating Public the other like many. like it it can be weird shapes it's be lucky just to have one person it's dating. not like this or this it's like this. Be all <laughs> <laughs> that's a good diagram for everyone at home <laughs> Draw, that that's your homework is to make a poly diagram <laughs> um i'm not doing the homework <laughs> you're gonna fail our class okay you but failed like, gay class how do you feel <laughs> Like a disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Me every day. <laughs> but you, okay, so if you're not part of the community, you're not, what else? Like, um, you're just like a, I it's a this kink. Word, it's a kink. Have you ever been called, like, I, okay. I've been called names like whore. Yeah, I've been called slut. Um, town bicycle. Ooh. Freddie Mercury is quaking. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. My bicycle. Um, okay. <laughs> it's a good song. It is a good song, but good not song. in that context. It's not in that Could context. Could be. Okay. Moving um, on. Um, Did you experience Which is yeah. very interesting because I'm also Demi, and so people are like, oh, you're, you're Polly and you're Demi. Demi. That you're still doesn't. Slut. And I'm like, how does it not? It does. Like, what? <laughs> and it's like, you're, you're Polly. That means you just want to have sex with multiple people. It's like, Poly you know, I want to puppets. be romantic with people, too. Like, like that's... People, so, do you consider polyamory a sexual orientation, a romantic orientation, or is it just an everything? It's an everything. Like, it, you, people can... There are... There's... 
polyamory is like because it doesn't end with like sexual yeah or, polyamory like, is just like how you are you don't need to be in a multiple person relationship you just could be you could be you have the capability have... to do it and there's plenty of people in this world that don't i don't i couldn't do it yeah and that's perfectly fine i do and that's perfectly fine some like some people in certain relationships could be and some could not like the, you could be polyamorous but in one relationship you're like no i don't want multiple people i just want to be with one or the opposite like it's a very broad thing that people get very confused about and, and they're people afraid also and they hate it people also confuse it with polygamy Oh, is that like where you that's, illegally take multiple marriages? It's where is it, one is it individual. That's it's illegal in the United States. Typically, okay. one man taking multiple wives, and the wives only have relationship with him. They can't be with each other. No. Oh, they could like form a bond over that. <laughs> like, we, hey, we have to date this awful guy, but like we have each other. Yeah, it was. I'm gonna write a book. Typically, originally, a Mormon thing. Oh my god! <laughs> Forgot about that. I'm sorry. Reactions. To I don't the mean word. that disrespectful. I disrespectfully. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, I'm baptized spent. Mormon, so that's what a lot of people. No, I, I don't s- practice the faith, but I'm, like, so a lot of people. That's so another people thing. People confused. With, <laughs> another thing with people like that. If people know that I am baptized in that faith, even if I don't follow they're it, they're like, they're "How like, are you Pauline?" They're like, "Oh, you must be, like." You must want polygamy then. And I'm like, no. Like, I want no. I want my partners, like, if they want to be, I want my partners to be with each other as well. And that's completely up to them. It is a complete, consensual, loving. So have you ever, <laughs> so this is, you, might, you might want to answer this. Mm-hmm. Have you ever been in a poly relationship or has it always been one I person? Have, I have been in poly relationships. Okay, I have a question. Yes. How do you not... Do you get jealous if, like, one, if you have two partners and then they're then dating each other? I don't get do jealous get because jealous? I'm dating both of them. No. And if I know the person that my partner is dating and I'm not dating them, I'm more than likely not going to get jealous. As long as I have communication in the relationship, mm-hmm. I'm fine with it. I don't know about this other poly. the poly episode now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about other poly people, but personally, if... I am in a relationship with someone. It doesn't matter as long as I have that communication. Because communication is key in any Any relationship. (laughs) Don't point at me like that. (laughs) Point with my pencil. Um, So this is one that I think we can all talk about if Mm -hmm. we wrapped up the poly. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think I'm sure you could go on. I could probably for a later it. date, which sidebarring so many things. I love how we have like mixed like the Ace episode up. And well, yeah, the, like, we have so good. we have like parts of the Ace episode. We were gonna do a poly episode, but we have all that combined into one episode about hate. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> um, so then we can all talk about non-binary erasure. I believe we all identify as non-binary, if I'm correct. I'm non-binary. I am non-binary. You don't have to be. You don't have I'm to tell not. everyone. I'm <laughs> question mark, honestly, I'm thing. pretty sure that's, like, the closest cool. term that I can... So, I have seen this a lot, where you... This is not coming from me. You can't be non-binary. You're just a trans guy or you're just a trans girl. Mm-hmm. Have you guys ever experienced that? Every day. Or you're just, or you're just cis. Which is when I get a lot. Oh, you're just cis. Every I'm like, day. no, honey, I'm not cis. Don't call me cis. I'm not cis with an S I S. Don't call me cis. <laughs> um, I feel like <laughs> if I was trying to like, because I like try to explain things to like my mom or something, it's like she she won't get it, and she'll mm-hmm. just be like, so you're a man. Mm-hmm. I'm like, mm-hmm. and it's weird when you find people who are accepting of trans people or even trans. Who then don't accept non-binary people. I mean, yeah, there's many, many trans people who don't ex- ex- accept gender fluid or non-binary people. And it's like, why? Or We've they only accept why? non-binary people when they are born um, intersex. That, and that's the only case that they would accept it. Huh? Really? Yeah. 
It's so what? interesting when people have like criteria for who you accept. <laughs> I'll accept you, you, not you, this and is you. A, <laughs> a great case of what we're talking about. All of the hate. Yeah, like, it's just like weird. It's like, like I'm gonna gatekeeping? gatekeeping when you decide that you're when not you're not a part of this community. Yeah. We are, we're keeping we're closing the gates. We're keeping you out of the community. Ace people have to deal with it. Trans. Uh, non-binary people, poly people. It's everyone has to deal with. Some so level, much bullshit. Some level of either. hate. Just bullshit, hate, and gatekeeping in general. Yeah. You're not gay enough. You're not trans enough. You're not ace enough. Oh my god, you know how many times I've been told that you're not ace enough? I'm not sex repulsed, right? Like, I'm open to the idea of having sex. I'm comfortable living on the assumption that I won't. Yeah. But people are like, oh, you're not ace enough, because you're open to the idea. And I'm like, mm, I'm open to most ideas, honey. Uh, like I said over uh, earlier, people don't think I'm on the spectrum at all. The asexual spectrum? Yeah. Like, they don't think... I mean, I have people who don't think I'm on the spectrum besides people think I'm a lesbian. I have many people that think I'm just a lesbian. I feel like... like I know what And you that's mean. not do a label you, you I guys, use. Do you guys ever experience when you like, you, like, say you're gay and people get so confused afterwards and, like, yeah, I date that guy. I've had that happen so many times and it's the funniest thing to watch the confusion cross over their face. They're like, I thought you I've had people I like... I thought you were a lesbian. <laughs> and I'm but like, honey, you're so far gone. Here's the thing. Lesbians can appreciate a pretty face. I would love to be a lesbian. Are you kidding Like, me? there's plenty Who of lesbians lesbian lesbian. that I'm like, oh, that I've met, and they will be like, that guy? Yeah, people find it so bizarre when I can, like, appreciate someone's face without Someone wanting to date them. aesthetic isn't, like... Aesthetic attraction. Yeah, we've talked about this. We're pulling stuff from every episode. <laughs> Um, what uh, topic? What? Not binary hate. That's what we were all on. Yeah. I, mm, it's so, like, frustrating because people are like, oh, it's not a real thing. It's not that thing. or they Every, judge it off your the way you dress or the way you carry yourself. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's frustrating. Like, I'm not upset when people misgender me. It makes me uncomfortable, but I'm not upset because I look female. I'm okay that you can't understand what's going on up here because you can't see that. You can see this. Like, I'm fine with that. But it just, they just... The thing that gets me is when people who know me do it. Mm. That's just, like, frustrating. Yeah. And, yeah. And it's just, like, people don't understand it. As we talk about, people don't understand it, and from there, they're quick to hate it. And it's like, why? Why don't you just sit down with me? We can have, we can have some tea, we can chill the freak out, and we can have a conversation. The opposite of spilling the tea. The opposite of spilling the tea. We're All the tea will the tea. remain in the cup. We're going to sip the tea politely with our pinkies out. What's, up, what's next on my list? I mean, we can talk about non-binary anymore. Cause, yep. It's just the people that think, oh, you're just a trans guy. Or like, it's also like the stereotypes from I non-binary. like to wear dresses and wear makeup, so people are like, oh, you're, you're a girl. I'm like, it's like, no. But, <laughs> and then you, it's, like, it's like small, but it's erasure. Yep. Yeah. It's like your identity isn't valid because you wear dresses. Also, it's like, what's clothing and makeup, not a gender thing. There's gender expression. expression. Yeah. Sorry. It, like, it, or just expression, if you just want to call it expression. Yeah. But it's like, not a genderized thing. There are plenty of guys I know who wear skirts because they, they like them. Hot. Okay. I want, I and think like, it should be more like acceptable for men guys. to wear makeup because men yeah. makeup looks so good. I know the too fact that many. It's like, it's, there's hate for it in the first place is so sad. Like, what in that, the it's world? It's like, oh, I'm putting like this or, colored powder on my face. Oh, you hate it? Why? Or if a guy puts on makeup, he's immediately gay. Yeah, you notice that a lot. And that can, we can even go into the, um, so that we can go into the, the woke card, which you see. Is in, that? That's the next on the list. <laughs> Okay. I'm trying to, we're trying the to keep this organized. It's not working, but we're trying. So, a classic example of this is Glee. <gasps> I love that show, but I hate that show. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> I have a little hate relationship. So, Glee, most people know, was a show about high schoolers. Who can in, sing? In a, in a group, in a singing group. Called the Glee Club. Called the Glee Club. Okay. Whoa. And um, the, one of the main characters was named Kurt. And his basic original storyline was that he was a stereotypical gay teenager. That's literally his only character. That's his only character trait. Well, he does he eventually. Eventually, he evolves to but have a boyfriend. <laughs> evolves to have a boyfriend. My goals in life. Um, <laughs> but his first thing is just gay. 
and the show was praised for all its representation and all this amazing stuff. I mean, the longer the show went on, it got better. It got better. Like because they, it progressed with time. Yes. We, fair. We started in 2009, right? Yes, I think so. Yeah. And, but you see that with TV a lot. When they need their woke card, they go to a white gay guy. White on occasions, gay guy. butch lesbian. Oh, yeah, that's true. On Sorry. A, they sprinkle in a few butch lesbians every now and then. Very again. rarely you see a lipstick lesbian, as they're called. The lipstick lesbians. Well, people uh, think gay so is. Uh, yes. Actually, no, more people think I'm butch than I'm li lipstick. These, I find these terms are so funny to me. But they're like, I'm a lipstick. Like, there's like certain flags for also for there like are. Lips, lipstick lesbians. It's like the lesbian flag, but there with a like lipstick a, on it. There's a kissy mark on it. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. That is cute. I love lesbians. <laughs> Not in like a weird Let's straight guy is turned on by lesbians. I just think they're that's a different topic. <laughs> <laughs> what episode? There are straight guys who are homo homophobic, but then watch lesbian porn. Yeah, and I'm like, what they, the hell are you doing with your life? Because okay. they're so straight, they can't see a penis. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to get, like, let's continue with other topics. Yes, that's such a great thing for <laughs> some other time. <laughs> like, like, just the let loose. Rolling. Put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> you would. I would. <laughs> so you see that all the time, which is a rage, and even with the razor of all the other identities. Because mm -hmm. then, if you're straight and you aren't have no, if you have no connection to the LGBT community, all you're seeing is that one gay guy, that one, that one queer person. There's only one of them. The token. The token gay guy. Yeah. Or there was this show. I don't know if you two ever saw it. Oh God. But it was called Faking It, and it was put out by MTV. And it was basically these two girls, one of them went, hey, want to get popular? Let's pretend to be gay. <laughs> Holy The crap. fastest way to not be popular. And, like, they're, like, they were the first, like, lesbian couple in the school. But they were she, not the first, I guarantee you that. Yeah, well, that's, like, they were the first, like, out, out. one. Yeah. But... Basically, the whole plot of the show is one of the girls actually turns out to be gay and in love with the girl, Aww. but she's doing it to get a guy. Aww. I don't think I MTV. like that show. MTV. <laughs> it's just, we did a whole episode on representation, so we're pulling from that episode, too. Wow. Um, there's no, non-binary, have you ever had a non-binary person in a show? I have never seen one. I'm thinking. <laughs> I wanted to just, like, start, I wanted to go... She wrote, but like not yet. Like um, Klaus Hargreaves. We don't. None. No one's confirmed. Has anyone? Have you have a confirmed non-binary sister in any show or any form of media that you have watched or consumed? That I can not. That no. I not that I can think of. No. There are two pansexuals I can think of that are confirmed, which are Klaus and yeah. Deadpool. But we'll just, Deadpool's a whole other issue. We'll talk about it later. So <laughs> many things we're gonna talk about later. Put a pin in it. <laughs> People are going to, like, message you, like, you said put a pin in it, so. We have to do a whole episode on Deadpool next. <laughs> no. I'll do it. I have a poster that I can bring No. In. This is one. Okay, so not woke cards. Just so problematic in general. Like, stop it. Stop putting characters in your show just to be considered woke or cool or progressive. Right. Like, actually be progressive, maybe. There's good idea. representation. Maybe let's actually be progressive. Let's. What are those weird commercials with the lady that pops up? Progressive. Pop? Yeah. Flow. 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 Her. Let's be her. Flow. I hope is a is a is a good person. No a gay rights. If activist. we may. Oh my God. Yeah. Can we hire Flow? Can we make that canon? <laughs> canon. Canon. Okay. <laughs> are there canons for? <laughs> car insurance commercials now? Next hate topic. Okay. Because we have so many. <laughs> I can't talk about this. I, I haven't really experienced it. A romantic hate. I have heard that they are all predators. Oh, ooh, this one's this one intense. That I heard a bit. I have a, f I don't want to pull this card. I do have a few aromantic friends. They love to rant to me. They have a very fun time ranting to me. And we, again, on the aromantic episode, we talk about them all being predators. Asexual, asexuals all being broken, aromantics all being predators. Right. Aromantic people, just... I love Lee. They're nice people. They just sometimes. Don't. Yeah, I mean, they're, 
I mean, you can say that about anything. Yeah. You could say that by a, about a tree frog or something. Like, it's lovely, but it's poisonous. Like, yeah. But that's not, that, that's, that's not, maybe it was not the, first the thing best. That into my head. Anyways, continue. <laughs> they just don't want romance. And who are we to stop them from not wanting romance? If they want to have, like, there, it doesn't always have to be asexual, aromantic. It can be aromantic, pansexual, or... I am asexual and I am panromantic. Yeah. Because I'm all hopeless romantic. It, it can work. Somebody please. Both ways. Both ways. But, and you, oh my god. So they're, they're just, just people. So they're who, just people, and they're also being kept out of the community. Yeah. This damn gatekeeping getting in everyone's way. Whoa. It's just uh, so, oh, aggressive. Asexual. Ag be aggressive. <laughs> um, asexual people being kept out, non-binary people, aromantic people, pansexual, bisexual. Literally every identity you can think of has probably been hated by the uh, the community they're meant to be loved by. People yeah. being kept out, just like all of them. All of them, all of them, literally every single like, one. But there's people that even, like, there's probably people who mm, identify as something that you're just like, question mark? Like, I don't understand star gender, but what? they exist. <laughs> Are we going to put a pin in this, too? I think so. Put a pin in that. Put a pin in that. <laughs> put a pin in that. <laughs> Shout out to any star genders watching. But then this is the whole thing of like trans trenders. Oh. People who are doing it for the attention, for the glory. It's the, the lesbians in the show. Oh, They're doing yeah. it because it'll make them popular. You see this all the time. You see them making, you see them using these identities and get, giving those identities a bad name. Non binary people, it happens all the time. Or people like the stereotype, oh, all girls experiment in college. I mean, I mean, is that it's a, it's if a you thing. go to an all girls college? No, kind of but like to. people just like they're like, <laughs> oh, you're a female going off to college. You'll probably hook up with a girl at least once because why do people care so much? Like when I come out as asexual, they're like, oh no, we're never gonna experience that. And I'm like, why do you care? Who are you? Okay, are you the one like, laying in my bed? Like, like why do you care about who the heck I'm gonna screw with or not? Ooh. Like, why? Why do they care? Why do they... And then it's like girls hooking up with other girls. Why do you care? How does it affect you in Can any way? people just live? We're not telling you to hook up with other girls. We're telling you to leave us alone. I mean, if you want to hook up with other girls. Knock like, yourself out. But we're just telling you, don't... Well, Be I'm not it. telling you. Requesting from you. Don't give a crap about what we do in like, bed. I mean, well... <laughs> Okay, pin. <laughs> no, just, just how about not a pin, just kind of like a, a like a rip that off. Just wait a minute. That's a whole nother episode. That in a safe. Yeah, we're gonna put that in a safe. That's not a whole other episode. No. I thought that was in the. the... Shh. <laughs> <laughs> and then I okay. Last thing on my list. We can probably go on for longer, but I I know we could probably touch back at all. Well, yeah, I want to touch back on what we we will in a minute. I have experienced so much damn hate from the community because I considered myself bisexual, I went to pansexual, and then I went to panromantic. They were like, you can't change your labels. And I'm like, yes, the heck I can. Okay. People just... <laughs> people... This is first court. of all, before I even continue with what I'm about to say, those, like, your attraction, your romantic, it sexual... Changes. It changes. It is fluid. It, it will change. It will, you know what? And it just, it happens. And people finding those terms and labels that fit them and they're comfortable with, that's okay. Because they're just finding what fits. They're just like, the people change and grow and they evolve into different people. I'm not the same person that I was when I was six. I changed. Right. I mean, when you were six, you expected probably to be straight. I didn't know what straight was when I was six. Okay, I expected to be straight, and when then I kept having panic attacks about pretty girls. People so. get, like, so upset when you change. <laughs> you know when you hear, like, oh, never change? I'm like, that's not possible, Carol. <laughs> Shut up, Susan. Sorry. It's Jeez, like, Marie. <laughs> so many <laughs> names. And it's just like people get so mad when you change, especially labels. And it's like, why, why? again, why do you care? What, people if it's love not hurting you people? or hurting others, 
unless it's consensual. Jay, <laughs> look, continue. Don't continue. Give a crap. Thank like, you. <laughs> like why? It, it just like people love to stick their nose in other people's business. They just and that's their where nose so in. much of this comes Ow. from. It's like they they want to understand. And when they when they don't, they hate it. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can just go on living your life and not make us hate ourselves. I and. Can I? You can. Okay. All personally, you want. like I, like because I'm trying to figure out what, um, like term for my gender identity is. Mm -hmm. I like, I'm like going through all these things trying to figure it out. But it's like I'm not gonna like tell my parents. I don't feel like I should tell my parents or try to explain it to them because we're just gonna go. You be your film, but now you know that. I. They're not gonna watch. Okay. <laughs> You know, what? I love them. I just, they already know. I've probably gone on this rant before. But, like, I'm just saying, like, and I don't want to, I feel bad, like, if I was going to be like, hey, friends, I figured this out, these pronouns, this, and I then always, I would be like, I don't know, I'd feel bad. Cause I always I feel bad changing them. Right. Like, and I came out to my family as bisexual, right? As we know now, that's incorrect. But I, I never, I never think I actually came out to them about my other identity. So I was like, I already did it once, so we don't need to go through that again. I so do they know I'm pan-romantic? Probably not. Do they know what that means? Probably not. They gonna watch this show? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I got a laugh from that. I really appreciate Tea. that. <laughs> no, but just the way you kept saying, I'm sorry. Yeah, I love it. It's, I'm not upset at all. I'm perfectly calm and collected and fine. <laughs> you said you wanted to touch back on something? What was the last topic we did on that paper? Hey, romantic hate. Non binary hate. Woke card. Okay. Pan hate. I'm just going up the list. No, I'm now I'm not sure I had to Reverse, to say. reverse. <laughs> Slide to the left. I, Slide to the right. I, that's Chris probably Chris. That's what we're doing right now. But yes. Are you trying to think of something saying you can't? My paper! Deal with it. I have an example of changing of labels. Go for it. I Go nuts. came out originally as gender fluid. I, as we now know, not gender fluid. Yes. But with, first of all, I'm going to talk about gender fluid. When I was labeled gender fluid, a lot more people had a problem with my gender identity than now when I'm labeled non-binary. Because people don't understand it. Yes. People have a really hard time wrapping their head around gender fluid. People. Like, why? Why do you care? Really why do you care? Really have a hard time. And that's in and out of the community. And like, I understand struggling to understand something. I do it all the time. Algebra one, anyone? But it's like hard to understand things. Sure. But that doesn't mean you gotta be an ass. Accept people and love people, and you're gonna be fine, and they're gonna be fine. You see so much hate in the community. It's like, oh, you can't, you're not trans, oh, you're not gay enough, you're not ace enough. You see it so much, and we don't need it. This community needs to be a place for love and acceptance, and it's more just this, this ugly monster that we need to kill. We don't need it. There's so many faces that I've made that could be we turned into zoom memes. In on them. <laughs> Every time I zoom in on them. But we don't need any of this no one needs to feel hated in ever no one needs to feel um outcast or ostracized Ostracized. especially in the community ostrich we get enough we get enough of your bullshit from outside the community let alone getting hate from in the community where we're supposed to be safe there was hate attacking this small little group of people right there was hate from the cishets attacking them so they banded together and they made a community right a community was meant to be a place for love and acceptance. And over time, this little community grew and grew and grew, and now it's becoming the thing that they were originally formed to fight against. Yeah. I mean, there's people that, like, say, like, statistics show that there's more gay people now. And it's like, no, there's more people comfortable coming out now. But we're the same amount that there's always been. Yes. Yeah. That's true. And you, progress has been made. And that's fantastic, but we I feel like progress has been made outside of the community, and it's backtracked inside of the community. Yeah. 
and there's still their progress still needs to happen and it's just we're not done we have so much we still need to fight for and work on and we're not done. it's like yourself you're always working on things in yourself right mm -hmm. like we're always we always notice our flaws and we always hopefully try to work on them but this community as a whole has these flaws and we need to work on them and it's hard because it's huge ass community how are we going to talk to everyone about this we're trying by using our voices on the internet Ah, uh, yes, the internet. The wonderful world, the internet. Tumblr. Oh, no. <laughs> we already touched on Tumblr. Burn Tumblr. Burn I Tumblr. I mean, there are nice fan arts. Let's move on. But I think a good way to end this is with we need a, we have, we need a community for acceptance. Mm -hmm. We had that for a little while, and it's going away. Yeah. And, and we, we need, need to, to protect it. Put, yes, keep it, hold keep on it to safe, it. Keep it safe. Keep it warm and safe. Make happy. Give it water. Give it sunlight. Let it grow. Give it occasionally a cheeseburger. <laughs> Two different things. <laughs> but any last things y'all would like to say before we end this? Let's no. go around. Piper, last last sentence or phrase you want people to walk away in their head. Walk, walk away with it in their heads. Don't be a dick. <laughs> uh, it's not your turn. Yeah, be quiet. Um, I'm sorry, I talk a lot. <laughs> Don't be afraid to uh, understand yourself and changing your labels and, you know, be happy. That was not articulate whatsoever. Your turn. Don't let people in or out of the community tell you that you are wrong. All my lovely people out there, you are beautiful, you are valid, and though you, it may not feel like it, you are loved. This has been All Things LGBTQ Plus Youth, Youth Edition. Edition. We will see you next time. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs>